the record's called Still Your Man. I wish I was the moon hanging by a thread Watch over you when you go to bed I wish I may and I wish I might I'm gonna love you, baby, till I get it right On one hand, I wanted to write a record of love songs kind of based on devotion. Devotion to someone you love, devotion to your craft. But a lot of the inspiration for the record came from this studio. I found an old garage in Nashville that had been abandoned that had really tall ceilings. And I also had the idea that the way to make the record was, again, as an ensemble where everyone could look at each other, but also where feeling was the most important thing of, of all the takes. When you go to a place that doesn't seem like a studio, then it becomes a different environment for the musicians. And if you say everything's going to be live, then everything you do has a bit of tension to it, a real sense of on the edge. You have to pay attention. You can't come back and fix it later. My baby's just like a train. Hell whistle when she walks by. There's a lonesome sound in her song. Sometimes it makes me cry. For the record actually came through this piano which belonged to my grandmother and she was a uh, her name is Vivian and she was a program director for the great AM station in Washington in the 1950s called WWDC and she was she got to know Chuck Berry and Fats Domino and Link Ray and Sam Cooke and there was a photograph stuck in the piano this isn't the actual photograph, but uh, it's on my wall. But it was a picture of, of uh, my, my grandmother and my grandfather on the honeymoon. If you look at the photograph, what, what would the sounds be like? Hmm, there you hear sirens, you know she's the cause. When she crosses the street, she crashes all the cars. What can I do? I do for my honey blue. And in a way, the song sort of took me by the hand and said, this is where we're taking you and this is where you're going to go. I knew a girl who thought she was made of bronze and could be seen for miles when she had nothing on. I think when the songs lead you in a particular direction, that's the funnest thing. Somehow the record ended up having a sense of 40s and 50s without ever trying to. And I'm happy that it came out the way it did. 